Hello everybody, welcome back to Vanish. Right, the last video, um, believe it or not, the developers actually commented on it, um, and they gave me a little bit of a hint uh, that I was pretty close to the end. So it seems that picking up the keys is probably the last step, and then you've just got to find your way out. That's the part I'm not worried, I'm not sure about. Uh, do I have to get back to that door, or is there something else? I don't know. Right, now, a few tips for this video. Recommendation. Go into your Windows 7 sound settings, so your headset settings or whatever you're using, and um, switch the environment sound, I think it is, I'm not too sure, uh, to like sewers or tunnels or something like that, and try that. I've also upped the sound in the game, but I've turned my headset down, naturally. Um, I'm not very good with jump scares and sounds. So do that, and that should add a little bit more of immersion. Um, right, enough jibber-jabber. Uh, let's just get into it. Alright. I'm also not going to uh, talk as much in this one as I did last time. This is one long corridor. A little tip for the developers if you can do it. Try to add a screen effect when you walk under here. That'd be a good little thing. Ah, oh, damn it, I hate these sections. The only reason I hate sections like this is. Ah, oh, okay. After watching Markiplier play the game, uh, one of the episodes, he was walking down a corridor just like that, and he turned to the left, and one just... jumped at him. And that sort of stuff would put me on the floor, and uh, have a heart attack. Itchy beard, knock it off. Oh my god. Oh, come on, stop it. Uh, just ignore it. I think those sound effects, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is where I died last time. I think those sound effects indicate that I'm close to one of the two rooms. Because whenever I've heard them, <sighs> it's the bloody predator. Oh no, not a T section. Come on. <sighs> okay, just don't. I haven't found anything yet. Surely it would be too early for one of you to pop out. I haven't found anything yet. Come on. Oh, what is that for? I wish I knew what these meant. Unfortunately, there's a page. Yoink. Uh, oh god, don't do this to me now, not with that. I'm not too sure if these pages actually trigger things. I can't do things that are small and move quickly. Oh, 
just knock it off, man. Come on. Okay. Man, screw the arrows. You can hug the wall all you want, mate. You can keep the wall. Have it. It's yours. Oh, fucking hard drive scared the shit out of me, then. Oh my god, why are you doing this now? Why are you boxing me in? Oh shit. Damn it, they really want me to go this way. Why, 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 why? Why are you shitting yourself? Sons of bitches. Also, if you can't hear me very well, that's intended. Because I really want you to hear the game. Couldn't hear the game in the last video. Oh my god. Please don't be a T-section, please don't be Fuck you. Oh, please tell me that's not a hole in the wall just there. I'm not going in the holes in the walls. I definitely see something down the end of that corridor on the ground. I don't know if it's just one of the particle effects. There's also a page on the left. Okay. Oh, 
Now the reason I hug the wall is this game uses the out of sight mechanic. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's actually called, but that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, things cannot spawn in your view, but they can spawn out of it. So uh, that's why I keep looking left, right. Ah, oh, god damn it! God, they're really steering me on this one. What did this one say? Left, right, left, right, left. You see, the only problem with reading a note like this is when does the note actually start? Oh, God. <sighs> Another note. I ain't even gonna bother picking that up. I'm not entirely sure if these notes have anything to do with the triggers in the game. Uh, they would be a good opportunity for them to be triggers, but I'm not sure if they've made them like that. Fuck. God damn it, these guys are steering me. Big time. So I'll pick the note up over here. Uh, I think that's a drawing of the face of these guys. Um, I'm not sure if they have a dedicated name. Uh, they might. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Noticed a bit of a text glitch on your PNG file there. Might want to clean that up a little bit. I do uh, Minecraft texture packs, so I know that can be a bit of a bitch of a problem. Especially white on a white backdrop. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to see if the map. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. The map has changed down here. I'm hoping it has, and that the guy has despawned, or... Oh! No! No, no, no! 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 Okay, just... Okay, they rely on sound. Just... Shh. Shh. Shit, the fuck. Just no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Just turn around. Turn around and leave. No, no, no! God damn it! God, I, s I thought that if you just stay still, um, you know, he'd turn around and walk off and despawn or the map would change or anything like that. I, I can't believe I didn't find any room. You know, even like the glow stick room, or the, the big hole on the floor in the middle of the room. <sighs> okay, uh, this is all I can do in one episode. I, I cannot play again. So that's going to have to be for part three. <sighs> again, check this game out for yourself. Link in the description as always. Just try it once. That's probably all you're going to be able to do anyway. Okay guys, thanks for joining me, take care and I'll see you in the next one.